Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Before getting into this video, a little Japanese snack time with the sponsor of this video, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. In the Sakurako box, it's a limited edition design inspired by the fall beauty of Kyoto. And this month's theme is Kyoto's Crimson Leaves. And as soon as you open the box, it always comes with a booklet, tells you all about the snacks that's inside, some cultural tidbit about Japan, and inside in this month, some wheat crackers, matcha cake, Kyoto, of course, famous for matcha, Oh, this thing is so pillowy. You can definitely tell that's made from some quality matcha. Oh, this goes so perfect with tea. I'm gonna make some. Oh, the tea is so good too. And with every single Sakuroko box, you get a monthly tableware item, and this month's is a flower dish. With the Sakuroko box, every month, you'll get 20 artisanal, authentic, and traditional Japanese snacks and teas made by local snack makers. And some of them have been making snacks for over 100 years. For the Tokyo Treat box, this month's theme, of course, Halloween. And this is a special, very limited edition Tokyo Tree box that's filled with Halloween inspired snacks and this month's Kit Kat flavor is sweet potato. There's so many different flavors of Kit Kats in Japan. Every time I get this box, I always look forward to this. Also, there's chips, ghostly corn snacks. These are little potato rings. They are so good. I mean, it is spicy. It's also delicious. Cool my mouth now with some Japanese cola. It's like a more concentrated Coke. And with the Tokyo Treat Box, you'll get 20 of the latest, most exclusive seasonal Japanese snacks. Again, all locally sourced in Japan. Two distinctively different boxes, both amazing. And I love the mission of this company to promote traditional Japanese culture through the medium of snacking. Anyway, if you wanna give this a try, go to my link down below. Use code DUMPLING to get $5 off your first Sakurago box or $5 off your first Tokyo Treat Box. And this month, there's a special Halloween promotion. So if you use the promo code TREATS23, you'll get up to eight additional trick or treats mystery snacks. It could be really yummy snacks or kind of wacky snacks like this super spicy one. Find out for yourself. And if you want to try these Halloween boxes out, you have until the 15th of this month to place your order. All right, I'm going to finish my breakfast and enjoy the video. Hey guys, Mike Chen here on a beautiful sunny day in Miami. Like I mentioned before, Miami is quickly turning into the go-to buffet capital of America. And this one I'm going to today might be one of the best ones I've ever found. Let's go check it out. I'm here at Novi Coven. This is one of the newest all-you-can-eat brunch buffets here in Miami, and this thing looks spectacular. There's two packages to choose from. One is $99, the other is $199. And the $99 package includes wines, different cocktails. There's unlimited bites on top of the buffet, like uh, cucumber tataki or Brussels sprouts, truffle chicken and mushroom rolls. And you can select one entree. You can choose between the sweet and sour mango chicken, grilled bronzino, duck salad, or wagyu noodles. Or if you get the premium package, you get premium cocktails, which includes lychee martini. There's different wines. Unlimited bites include duck fried rice, bok choy, A5 wagyu nigiri, crab and caviar shomai, scallop and shrimp dim sum. And you can choose one of the featured premium entrees, which includes miso cod, wagyu ribeye, peking duck, or truffle crab legs. On the buffet, there's lobster, there's snow crab claws, there's some cocktail shrimp. Some dim sum items as well. It's not a big buffet, but what you are getting is a lot of table side items. So once you get the premium menu, the regular menu food items comes with it. A carts are basically going around kind of like a, like a dim sum style cart. I got some scallop and shrimp dim sum. And some crab and caviar show my. as well as some salmon and A5 Wagyu nigiri. Also, shishito peppers. 
Dude, these are really smoky shito peppers. Mm. Like I said, other dishes come to your table fresh off the steamer with the grill. Seaweed salad with some kind of dipping sauce on the side. Never seen that before. It's a sesame dipping sauce. Wow, this is really good. The seaweed salad itself is kind of citrusy. Oh, these two things go really well together. A5 Wagyu Nigiri. A5 Wagyu, of course, melts in your mouth. Oh, that salmon belly melted better than the Wagyu. Yeah, this Nigiri plate, you're gonna have to order much more of those. This is something I also was really looking forward to. King crab caviar show mai. This is one of the greatest shaw mai's I've ever had. Oh, that's incredible. This is one of my favorite shaw mai's ever. This thing is stuffed, look at this. Stuffed with king crab. Really light outer shell. A little crunching here from the veg. You don't need to dip this in anything. I do have sriracha everywhere. I should have got some of that, but really. That flavor is so good. A little sweet, nice crunch. Oh, there's so much umami in that bite. This is the scallop and shrimp dumpling. Mm, this is so good. Bouncy shrimp, sweet scallops, a little bit of ginger, little crunchy scallions and tapico on the top. That's just a burst of flavor with a delightful chewy wrapper on the outside. Wow, so far so awesome at this place. And there's more dim sum items on the buffet. Let's go get some. Round. Got all the dim sum on the buffet, as well as some nigiri and sushi. And this is a wild mushroom dim sum, little sriracha. Very mild and earthy. Next one is a Thai pork and cashew. Nutty, fatty, and very porky. This is um, shrimp and cilantro. Oh, really fragrant. This sriracha they're using here. Oh, it's way spicier than a regular sriracha. Truffle and morale mushroom dim sum. If you're a truffle lover, you'll love the heck out of this one. That thing goes in your mouth, it just kind of dissolves, leaving this rustic, fragrant mist of flavor on your tongue. Also, loving the sushi. I mean, the sear nigiri is delicious. The sushi on the buffet, fresh, melts in your mouth. Mm, that's delicious. Gotta get another one of the seaweed with that sesame dipping sauce. Mm. Also, they just brought over some black hot gills of dunk this and some of their homemade chili oil. Wow, the thin, crispy skin of this galza was wrapped around a flavor bomb. Mm. The wrapper is nice and light. Inside, the fish is juicy, it's seasoned perfectly. Oh, this is amazing. Dunk in some of the garlic and then the chili oil. I just popped the whole thing in my mouth. These are some 10 out of 10 dumplings. Actually, I just found the regular menu. A basket of king crab shaw mai. A la carte about $30. This buffet in comparison is such a great deal. Yeah, I'm gonna be eating the heck out of these. Mm. Honestly, the best dish in our restaurant. This is a beautiful king crab. Like, thank you so much. Enjoy. Roasted king crab with truffle and honey, and then seared after it came off the grill. You get one whole leg of king crab. Oh my goodness. Just this one item costs over half of what I'm paying for this buffet right now. Squeeze a bit of citrus on this, and it's all cut into sections for you. So, really, no effort and a chunk comes out. Look at how juicy this thing is. And as soon as I take out the chunk of king crab, you see all that juice from the crab left over in the shell. And it's so great that they section all this off. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That's the greatest bite of king crab I've ever had. Wow. 
I can craft is pretty much everything you've ever craved in your life in a shell. It's smoky. The truffle gives it such a nice earthy flavor that is balanced out beautifully by that craft's natural juice and sweetness. Also, I got their Wagyu steak, and with it, their shisho chimichurri sauce. This is usually $95 on the a la carte menu. Let's try it on its own. Oh, it's so perfect. The steak is melts in your mouth, and you can see the juiciness and all that great marbling. It's got such a nice, delicious char on the outside as well. Dip it into the chimichurri sauce a little bit. Perfectly cooked, beautiful in every single way. This Wagyu is not overly fatty, so you still get that great beefy flavor of the steak. At the same time, it's pure melt in your mouth, tender and juicy. I will highly recommend coming here with two people and share the premium entree so you can taste both. Also, this is a wasabi martini. Ah, zesty. Another item they just brought over, duck fried rice. This thing tastes like the rice was stir fried in a duck fat, which might just be the case. This is so good. The rice is buttery, it's fatty, it's fragrant. Oh, this is so addictive. Add some of that hot oil in here. Fried rice is such a guilty pleasure of mine. And this thing just has so much good fat flavor in here. Something else I haven't tried. The Robata Grilled Citrus Corn. Mmm, this is awesome. Really buttery and sweet. I think the best thing, that char grilled roasted flavor. A plus on the corn. One thing I realized, I was so occupied with the table side dishes. I haven't even got a lobster or a crab claw yet. Chilled lobster tails. Sweet and succulent like a lobster should be. Never a bad thing to say about this. And also, the snow crab claw. Look how long the pinchers are. I think this is a different variation of the snow crabs that you typically see at a buffet. I feel like the meat is less sweet, more savory. Kind of like how you would compare a, a Maine lobster to a Caribbean lobster. I like it. So I pretty much tried everything on this buffet. Only thing left is the dessert, which is the dessert made by the chef every single week. So it's not listed as exactly what it is. So I won't know what it is till I see it. Dessert is served. This is the craziest dessert platter I've ever seen. Wow, wow, wow. So in the middle is a fruit ceviche on top of a dragon fruit. There's a brownie tart, chocolate lava cake, lemongrass creme brulee. Start with some of the dragon fruit ceviche. I think fruit just tastes better with foam on top. A lemongrass creme brulee. Oh, that's so creamy. And of course, that gorgeous caramelized crunch on top. That's some fantastic creme brulee. Some raspberry cheesecake. Mmm, fruity, creamy, and tart. This is coconut pina cotta with sorbet on top. This is magical. Everything about this rich, creamy pina cotta, delicious coconut strusels, that light, refreshing sorbet on top tastes like a cloud. A chocolate brownie tart. That's definitely the most decadent out of the group. Oh, that's so rich. Guava cheesecake. Oh, that's so creamy. There's also a chocolate cake with a crunchy chocolatey shell on the outside. I think this is gonna be decadent. The top is a layer of chocolate mousse. The cake itself, so spongy and good. Finally, this is the chocolate lava cake. And they say to eat it with some of the ginger ice cream they provided on the side. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh, this is the greatest lava cake ever. Greatest lava cake ever. Toasty chocolate cake 
inside is just filled with flowing melty chocolate. I've never had ginger ice cream before. That goes really well with the chocolate. Everything, every single item on this tray. Wow. I mean, this is some of the best desserts on a buffet I've ever had especially the presentation. And I like how the dessert is brought to you because I can never make up my mind. I try to grab every single dessert on the buffet and every single item here is a premium dessert item. This is just the perfect finish to this ultimate buffet experience. Plus my favorite thing, each one of these dessert items on the a la carte menu is about 15 bucks. So I'm getting over $100 worth of dessert in this one plate right now. I love how every single time I come back to Miami, there's a new brunch buffet that's open. I love how so much of the food item is made to order. And again, they do make everything from scratch. Scratch. My favorite has to be the king crab. I mean, that thing was smoky, it was buttery. Best king crab in my life. Actually, every single food item I had was delicious. From the corn to the dim sum. And finally, that's the most beautiful plate of dessert I've ever seen in my life. Also, this place is beautiful. You're right by the water. Plus, everybody we met, so nice. All right, I'm gonna finish my dessert. See you in a bit. Took a little break and a nap and it's dinner time and I am at Dolce Vita for some Biera pizza. Last time I had Biera pizza, it was in New York and this place, the Biera pizza, two tortillas dunked in consummate, lit with shredded beef and cheese and cilantro with some consummate to dunk it in. Berea anything is one of my favorite things in the world. And this Borea pizza, the tortillas already soaked in that umami filled broth. And you get more to dunk it in. And the chili sauce and the salsa. That's such a tremendous bite. Borea pizza this is one of the most satisfying food items you'll find anywhere. The tortilla is so toasty. There's so much cheese and meat. The beef is just chocked full of flavor. Having been stewed in that delicious broth. Mm. It's so tender as well. Dunk it in that chili sauce for some additional kick. This thing is just such a cheesy, meaty, umami filled, extremely satisfying, fulfilling dish. This is gonna be my dinner, so that's it for my day of eating here in Miami. And as always, all plays I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, 